Most nutrients consumed by humans do not stay in the body, but leave the body with the urine almost in the same amount as they were consumed. Since nutrients in urine originate from arable land and its given crops, it is only logical to close the nutrient loops by giving them back to the arable land. One person produces on average 1.5 litres of urine per day, which is around 550 litres of urine per person per year. From this amount, 4,000 grams of nitrogen, 400 grams of phosphorus, and 1,000 grams of potassium. However, nutrients concentration, as well as the amount of urine produced, depends on factors such as diet, climate, gender, water intake, physical activity, and body size. Urine can be used as a complete fertilizer that also includes micronutrients and can replace expensive fertilizers. The nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium contained in urine are three of the most important nutrients for plant growth. However, urine should only be applied after its dilution with water, and the soil should have enough humus to absorb soluble nutrients and trace elements. It should be noted that urine also contains pharmaceutical residues and synthetic hormones that will also be taken up by the plants along with the water. Additionally, social acceptance for the use of urine in agriculture is low. Therefore, options like urine use in reforestation or industrial crops are recommended. The yearly urine production of one person could fertilize 400 square meters of land per year if urine is to be used as a nitrogen fertilizer. If the goal is to replace the phosphorus, 600 square meters would be the potential fertilization area. Urine has high hygiene quality compared to feces. The risk of urine contamination is mainly a result of cross-contamination by pathogens contained in feces. This can be overcome by separating the urine from the feces through urine-diverting toilets or urinals. Even though they are less common, urinals for women have also been developed. After separation, urine can be stored as a hygiene treatment. This increases the pH and the ammonium concentration, improving in this way the die-off rate of pathogens. When a family's urine is used to fertilize individual plots, the optimal storage period is one month. If the urine is collected from many households or facilities, a storage period of at least six months is recommended. The use of urine is an important step to regenerate land management, and it contributes to the reduction of freshwater usage and ground and surface water contamination.